Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Sunday, February 9th, the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the feast day of St. Ansbert of Rouen. Rouen? Rouen? It's French. Um, and today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The similes of salt and light. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Short and sweet today. Um, notice how Jesus, like he does a lot of times, speaks in similes and parables. Why does he do that? Because he wants us to actually dive deep into Scripture and try to understand it on our own. You know, if he was clear as day all the time, we'd all be doing the right things. But it, you know, parables and similes force us to actually force us to put our nose into the Bible, into Scripture, which I like. So he's telling the disciples uh, to be obedient to God's will, um, to influence the world for good. And now that they have begun following him, there's no escape. There's no escape. They are forever attached to Jesus Christ and his teachings and his healings and everything else that we've been speaking of. Um, and the, so he straight up tells them pretty bluntly um, that if they fail in good works, that they are as useless as flavorless salt or a, a light whose light or a lamp whose light is concealed. So, you know, I like how straightforward Jesus is at times also um, with, with those metaphors and similes. So that is what spoke to me about it. Uh, aside from that, in the, in the actual gospel words is, you know, this is partially why I decided to do and start this whole morning gospel fuel up. Um, this is my way of providing flavor for other people and shedding light to others. Because I know a lot of people uh, that, that don't ever read the Bible or scripture, which, which is, I'm not judging them. That is their, everybody is on their own faith journey in God's time. Uh, but I figured this would be my way to help spread the gospel message uh, through this whole technology world that we live in, um, being a almost millennial. But we're all millennials, honestly. You know, even my parents' generation, about all of them have Facebook. Admit it, guys. We have all become millennials. But anyway, this is why. That's why I did it, uh, to spread the gospel me message through other ways that, that works today. Um, but then also uh, to hold myself accountable, you know, uh, which and it kind of fits to to this whole gospel message that, you know, once you start, you know, it you kind of have to continue. All right. So this holds myself accountable to because I've gotten some good feedback um, from from these videos. And this is just what I felt God was speaking to me because the morning gospel fuel this idea came to me while I was doing a holy hour at chapel at school. So um, it just took me a, a few weeks to actually put it into play. So hopefully you've been enjoying them so far. And if not, that's okay. But that is, uh, that's why I decided to do it. Uh, so that is, uh, I think that's part of the challenge today of how are we uh, influence, influencing other people in our lives through our own example, how can we uh, provide flavor for other people and, and give light, the light of Christ to other people, not specifically through talking about faith all the time, but you know, through our works and how we treat them. And, um, and a lot of us are doing that, I'm sure, uh, especially those of uh, my family and friends who are married and have kids. Um, you do a great job of that. Um, and then just through our work, uh, through our career, you know, we do that without knowing. So um, just maybe what, what else can you do? Um, to to influence those around you uh, as best as we can. So that's my 
uh, message um, for today and challenge number one. Challenge number two is take advantage of the Sabbath. Right? Today is Sunday, a day of rest. Um, do your best to do that. You know, God put that there for a reason. I know yesterday's message message had to deal with rest, but you know, even in God's uh, masterful design of the week, He put in a day of rest, knowing that we need it because He loves us and He cares about us. So, uh, eliminate the the stuff that you don't have to do today. You know, the laundry can wait until tomorrow. The yard work can wait until tomorrow. Occur, of course, certain things need to happen um, each day, like. My dad and my brother need to feed the steers and the piggies and everything else at home. And, you know, farmers have uh, their own things that they have to do. Um, so, but, and, and we all do, but, you know, just eliminate the stuff that isn't a necessity to get done today. Uh, that's what we have Monday through Saturday for. Right, so, and I'm not good at it all the time, trust me. Whenever on my first few years of teaching, I would always wait until Sunday to grade all of my quizzes and tests because I do not like grading, right? But I've stopped doing that over the past few years and uh, it makes a difference on my Sunday vibes. So there's my challenge. Um, get to church if you didn't do so already uh, yesterday or this morning. And I think that's pretty much all I've got today. Yes, I have glasses. I don't think I'm going to wear them again because I'm not so sure I like the glare. Okay. All right. Otherwise, feel free to put your personal prayer intentions in the comments below, and I'll bring them to mass with me here in a little bit. And I hope you guys have a have a great Sunday. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.